Hi! In this video I'm going to introduce you to the do-while loop. The do-while loop is one of four repetition statements in Java. The other ones are the for loop, the for each loop and the while loop. What makes the do-while loop unique is that the loop condition is tested after the body. This implies that a body is executed at least once. This is the distinguishing feature of the do-while loop. The body is executed before the condition is ever tested. A tip. Always include braces in a do-while loop. Braces are a great idea for all kinds of loops, but especially for the do-while loop. They really help to make your code more clear, easier to read, and to avoid unnecessary errors. Here is the syntax of the do-while loop. We have the keyword do followed by the body of the loop that includes one or multiple statements. Now after the closing brace of my body, we continue with the keyword while. This is fairly unusual. Then afterwards, we have the condition in parentheses followed by a semicolon. Once again, a semicolon after the condition is a rather unusual combination. Here is the corresponding activity diagram. You can see we start. Before we ever check the condition, we execute already one or multiple statements. Once my statements have been executed, I check the condition. If it is true, I go back I do it again. And I keep doing that until I check my condition and it is false. At that point, I've reached the end. Let's have a look at a code example. I'm going to write a program that allows the user to choose different trigonometric functions. Here, I wrote an activity diagram to show you what my plan is. First, I'm going to read in an angle from the user. Then I display a menu. My menu has different choices. What do you want? Sine, cosine, tangent, or exit. Now I'm going to get the user choice. Let's say the user chose sine, then I'm going to print a sign based on the angle he gave me earlier. I'm going back. I'm displaying the menu again. What do you want? Sine, cosine, tangent, or exit? Let's say this time the user says exit. So I'm going to print goodbye and I'm done. So we start by reading in the angle. The first thing we need is an import statement. So here I'm importing Java Util Scanner because we need the scanner to read in a value from the user. I'm going to create an instance of scanner, I call it input, and I initialize it with system.in. This means I'm going to read from the standard input, which is the keyboard. I'm going to print a prompt to the user. I say I want the angle in radians. I'm going to read in the angle and by using the method next double. My angle has to be a double because the trigonometric methods in class math require a angle in radians. And I'm going to use an extra print line. Now we're moving on to the do while loop. Here in my do while loop, I start with my keyword do followed by the body. Now afterwards, while and my condition. My condition is when the user chooses exit. At this point we need to know how does the user indicate that he wants to exit. So I'm going to write my menu prompt here. I make a private method. It's going to be static because we're going to call it from the static method main. It's not going to return any value. It's just called menu prompt and it's going to do all the prompting to the user which is just a sequence of uh, print statements. So here, let's just make this window a little bit bigger. You can see I'm going to tell the user 1 means sine, 2 means cosine, 3 means tangent, 0 means exit. What is your choice? 
So at this point, I made a commitment. I said exit is zero. That's what I want to test for. Now here is a caveat. When I declare a variable inside the body of my do while loop, it will get out of scope right here where my uh, curly brace closes. It will no longer be accessible in my condition. If I want to be able to access a variable in my condition, I have to declare it outside of my do while loop. That's what I'm going to do. I need an integer, it's called choice. And now I'm checking, choice is not zero. And a semicolon after the condition of my do while loop. Now inside my do while loop, I need to prompt the user. I can do that by calling my menu prompt. The next thing is to get the user choice. So here I am assigning a value to my user choice. I'm using input next int. Input is my scanner. At this point, the, ch the user made a choice. Maybe sign, maybe cosine, maybe exit. And I have to check all those different options. I'm going to use a switch statement to check those options. I say switch, and here is my choice. And now we have different options depending on what the user selected. And I can say case one, I'm going to do something, system out, print um, F, and I'm going to print sign is whatever it is, math sign angle. At this point, I want to have a quick look at the math methods. So here we're in, in class math. It provides a method for sine, provides a method for tangent. It also provides a method for the cosine a little bit further up. Uh, when I double click on my sine, I can see that the parameter needs to be provided in radians. So here, I was responding to user choice number one. The user wanted to see the sign. I'm printing the sign. Now I'm done. I say break. I'm doing something equivalent for my other choices here. So I made a couple of these already. In case the user chooses two, we want to have the cosine. In case the user chooses three, we want to print the tangent. In case the user chooses zero, I want to print goodbye. And we just make a print line statement here because there's no formatting and no placeholder involved. Also, I want to have a default case just for the situation that the user might enter, let's say, 4 or 7. And in such a situation, I'm just going to tell the user that this was an invalid selection. So I say invalid selection. There's one last thing I would like to add. I would like to add a new line before the user is prompted again, regardless what the user choice was. So I'm going to do that after the switch statement, but still within my do while loop. So here I say system out print line. So the next menu prompt is going to be separated with a single empty line. At this point, I'm going to compile. I'm going to open the window all the way up. I'm going to run and I'm going to choose as my angle, let's say zero. So if I calculate the sine of zero, this is zero, cosine of zero is one, tangent of zero is zero. Let's say the user enters six, he would be reminded that this is an invalid selection. And if the user chooses zero, we print goodbye.